Batteries are a large and integral part of our lives, especially in the 21st century. From powering seemingly prosaic electronic devices like phones and laptops, to life-saving and requisite electronic devices like pacemakers, batteries have proven to be intricately woven into our daily operations at personal and grander scales. This video will approach the subject of solid-state batteries. But before we continue, let's check out how batteries came into play. The first battery was invented by the Italian physicist and chemist Alessandro Volta and was a pile of copper and zinc discs piled on top of each other and separated by a piece of fabric dipped in salt water. That was about 200 years ago though, and batteries have undergone a lot of radical innovations and developments that focused on increasing battery life and safety, among other things. The most commercially viable battery at this point is the lithium battery, with major innovations on this battery being developed by companies like Sony and scientists like Professor John Goodenough. The lithium ion battery is based on a liquid electrolyte. Lithium is the lightest metal on the periodic table and is known for being among the elements with the largest electrochemical potential and energy to weight ratio. When recharging, a positive lithium ion from the cathode moves to the anode to become lithium metal. Lithium's considerable electrochemical affinity for oxidation allows it to migrate back to the cathode as a lithium ion again. This makes it a very viable material to be used for and in batteries. Despite its considerable advantages over other batteries that have been on the scene, lithium ion batteries have their liabilities. Lithium batteries have been known to wear with age even when not in use. More often than not, they also have to come with a protection circuit to prevent them from being overcharged or discharged beyond capacity. The protection circuit is sometimes known to limit peak performance. It consists of a thin strip of thermoplastic polymer, called polypropylene, that acts as a separator between electrodes of the battery cell. If the separator is broken or for any reason breached, the electrodes come in contact and the temperature of the system increases rapidly. Lithium ion batteries have been known to cause fires due to a flammable electrolyte, as in the case with the Samsung Note 7, which caused the company to stop production and lose a considerable amount of market share. Logistics is also a problem faced in the lithium ion battery market, with transportation of the products being frequently subject to regulatory control. Another dilemma for the case of the lithium ion battery is the market relevance. As electronic technology advances relentlessly at an exponential rate, so does the demand for batteries that can keep up with the numerous energy requirements of these devices and machines. Lithium battery technology is not keeping up, and in many circles, the concept is still seen as burgeoning technology, as opposed to advanced technology. More technologies are being explored to make up for this inadequacy on the part of lithium batteries. One of such technologies is solid-state batteries. What are solid-state batteries? The name solid-state battery sounds vague and might be confusing. After all, all batteries are physically solid. But then let's ask the question, what are solid-state batteries? Solid-state batteries are batteries that use both solid electrodes and a solid electrolyte instead of the conventional aqueous electrolyte that most other batteries use. Materials that can be used as solid electrolytes include glass, solid polymers, and ceramics, but not limited to oxides and sulfides. Michael Faraday, commonly known as the father of electricity, set the foundation for solid-state batteries when he discovered the solid electrolyte silver sulfide and lead fluoride. Later contributions to the field of solid-state ionics were made by Walther Nernst. With his Nernst equation and his work on his Nernst lamp, the characterization of silver iodide in 1914, the establishment of the concept of point defects by Yakov Frankel, Walter Schottky, and Carl Wegener. Presently, solid-state ionics is now focused on the synthesis and definition of new solid electrolytes and how they can be utilized in solid-state battery systems. Why are we even talking about solid-state batteries? What makes them special? Solid state batteries basically work the same way lithium ion batteries work, so there is not much difference there. These batteries work the same way lithium ion batteries work. There is a reduction and oxidation reaction in which a flow of ions is induced. During the discharge, oxidation occurs at the anode to make compounds with free electrons which deliver electrical power to the device. Positive ions travel through the electrolyte from the anode to the cathode. Reduction occurs at the cathode in which compounds gain electrons, and therefore store energy. During recharge, the process is reversed, as when no more ions flow to the negative electrode, the battery is fully charged. That's all just a bunch of electrochemistry. But what then makes solid-state batteries different from liquid-based electrolyte batteries? 
Although the concept of solid-state batteries has been around for decades, dating back to the 1950s, nobody paid much attention to it until recently, when it became the consensus among scientists that liquid electrolyte battery technology is reaching its peak. Current developments are being encouraged by aggressive investment from big technological companies, cutting across many fields including automobiles, electronics, and general industrial providers. Solid-state batteries are theorized to hold the potential of far better battery life, lesser charging times, and a safer overall experience. This battery system largely narrows the anode, cathode, and electrolytes into three thin stacks, instead of holding the electrodes in a liquid electrolyte. This means it has a higher energy density, being compact, yet holding the same amount of energy with a larger aqueous electrolyte battery. Replacing the lithium-ion battery on your laptop or your phone with a solid-state battery of relatively the same size would retain charge more and cause you to charge less. Because of the compactness, ions move more rapidly from cathode to anode, therefore recharging faster. Solid-state batteries are presently being used in devices such as pacemakers, radio frequency ID systems, and wearable tech like Apple Watches. They presently also are not rechargeable, and work is being focused on making them so, to be able to power larger devices. You might be asking how these batteries affect cars. If this technology isn't at a point where it can power large machines, why is it even being talked about when liquid lithium batteries are still doing relatively well? Are they though? Car batteries have been known to corrode at the electrode when the liquid electrolytes leak and come in contact with them. Apart from that, the batteries have been known to weaken a lot with age. This doesn't really make them feasible for utility in EVs. Electric vehicles are automobiles that are powered solely by electricity, meaning they are largely reliant on what sort of batteries they use. This is quite different from hybrid cars or ICEV, short for Internal Combustion Engine Vehicles. ICEVs use conventional petroleum products and rely on the combustion of fuels to power the vehicles. Hybrid cars use both electricity and hydrocarbons. ICEVs have been in use for quite a while now, and it has been asserted quite authoritatively that their period is almost at an end. Electric vehicles are expected to take the crown somewhere in the future. They have undergone a host of enhancements in terms of range and performance, but there's still a lot of work to be done before they are ready to oust ICEVs from the mainstream market. Not many people are willing to buy, and there needs to be a palpable paradigm shift that would make people more open to buying. They need a range of at least 480 kilometers, more rapid charging and more battery capacity, and a relatively inexpensive price. Battery capacity can be increased by increasing the number of batteries per EV, but that increases price and decreases space taken by the battery in the vehicle. These barriers are what make solid-state batteries the perfect candidate for adoption in the manufacture of electric vehicles. Solid-state batteries can, in theory, solve all of those problems. They deliver a compact, fast charging alternative to the typical lithium-ion batteries due to the elimination of the lithium diffusion bottleneck in the anode host material. Solid-state batteries use metallic electrodes and interior designs of higher complexities to store more energy and improve overall performance by giving higher power. They do not need the bulky and voluminous cooling systems that plague lithium battery-powered cars. They are more resistant to discharge and can withstand more charge cycles. They also do not endure the corrosion that takes place on the electrodes of aqueous-based batteries that come in contact with the chemicals in the electrolyte. They can also be charged up to seven times more. Gears are probably whirring in your head right now, and you're probably wondering which companies are focused on making this technology go mainstream. The truth is not much, but interest in solid-state batteries was reignited at the turn of the century, and researchers spent the last two decades making bold pledges. During the 2000s, most efforts amounted to nothing, but from the mid-2010s, many startups and companies have decided to invest considerable deliberate time and funding into making developing solid-state battery technology a reality. It has been projected by ID Tech X that the industry would be worth around $6 billion by the year 2030. On the February 23rd issue of the science journal Nature Communication, it was shown that a group of researchers from different institutions developed a sodium ion conductor for solid state batteries that proved stable when introduced into higher voltage oxide cathodes. They demonstrated with a concept battery proof that showed the new material lasting over 1000 cycles, yet retaining about 89% of its capacity. The institutions involved included UC San Diego, UC Santa Barbara, the TCG Center for Research and Education in Science and Tech from Kolkata, India, Stony Brook University, and Shell International Exploration. 
Companies that have a leg in this race include big automobile companies like Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Volkswagen, and newer, smaller, but innovative companies like QuantumScape. QuantumScape is a company located in California and was founded in 2010, but is presently among the leaders in the development of solid state batteries. They have partnered with Volkswagen, receiving funding of $100 million from the German automobile giant in 2018. Bill Gates is another high-profile investor in the company. Toyota, Nissan, and Honda banded together to form the LibTech Consortium, aimed at creating the next generation of electric vehicles powered by solid-state batteries. Toyota eventually planned to reveal a solid-state battery prototype at the 2020 Summer Olympics in Tokyo, but the event was postponed due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Toyota owns the record for the most patents involving solid-state batteries. Nissan has plans in motion to develop its own, which is proposed to power a non-simulation vehicle. A solid-state battery would effectively increase the range of a Volkswagen e-Golf from its typical 300 kilometers to around 750 kilometers. Tesla, while being a large producer of electric-powered cars, seems dedicated to the improvement of their lithium-ion batteries with their suppliers, one of the largest lithium-ion battery companies, Panasonic. What are the challenges the industry faces? Why aren't we seeing solid-state battery-powered cars yet? The thing is, there are still a host of challenges to the mass production of solid-state batteries, and that is why they are still not viable enough for today's market. There are a lot of challenges to the mass production of solid-state batteries, and that is why they are still not viable enough for today's market. Because they are relatively emergent technology, they are very expensive to manufacture. Estimates put the manufacture of one solid-state battery to around $100,000. The materials required for production are also largely experimental compared to lithium-ion batteries. While the attributes of the compounds, alloys, metals, and salts used in the production of lithium-ion have already been felicitously profiled, the properties of materials used for solid-state batteries are lacking in that regard. The optimal combination for a solid electrolyte between metallic anodes and cathodes is, for now, largely unknown. More research has to be done before it would be advisable for mass production to commence. When would mass production start? Nobody can say for sure, but Toyota has affirmed that they would be able to start limited production of solid-state batteries by 2025. Volkswagen, partnered with QuantumScape, estimates their first solid-state battery would appear in their vehicles by 2024. Would these companies be able to meet their self-imposed deadlines? It seems very conceivable, considering the advances that have been made. Is solid-state battery technology a game-changer? It is, without a doubt, clear as day that solid-state batteries hold the promise of being game-changers in the machine productions. Companies like Toyota and Volkswagen won't shell out large amounts of cash on a technology that isn't the least bit promising. A solid-state battery would effectively increase the range of a Volkswagen e-Golf from its typical 300 kilometers to around 750 kilometers. Solid-state batteries would do much for range and performance in electric vehicles, and would undoubtedly be revolutionary in utility for smaller electronic products. Do you want to understand and learn more about innovations around this new technology? Subscribe and click on the notification bell below to get notified when we post new content about the development of and innovations around solid-state batteries. Thanks for watching. See you next time.